Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Somos Biology and in this video we want to talk about how should you prepare unit 5 for CSR GCNET syllabus. Unit 5 means developmental biology and many students may heard it, many students may not even uh, understand this developmental biology very well because a developmental biology is a subject which is normally present in zoology field. So if you are from zoology background you may know this, you may know the basics. But if you are from any modern biological field like microbiology, biotechnology, biochemistry, this subject is not included in your graduation and post graduation. So this will be completely new to you. Now many students ask me whether they should proceed with unit 5 or not. I always say definitely proceed with unit 5 because this unit 5 is a very steady unit and they ask uh, the same number of questions in June as well as in December net every single time from this uh, unit particularly. They ask a lot of questions from these units and if you know the basics, uh, it's not that difficult. If you have a clear understanding of biochemistry and cell biology and cell signaling processes, then you can understand developmental biology very easy. It's a, it's a cakewalk. Okay? It's not that difficult. But uh, developmental biology, if it's completely new to you, then what you should do is that you should have a pen and paper. You should have a notebook for developmental biology separately. Because you know, if, if you haven't prepared it during your graduation and masters, then now it's the first time. So what you need to do, you need to read a lot. Okay. And if you open up books like Gilbert, then it is a huge concept that involves the development of chicken, development of frog, development of sea urchin, development of sea elegance, development of humans even. Now what we need for CSI net questions to answer is the development of sea urchin, sea elegance, frog, which is Xenopus, and uh, uh, the chicken. Only these four things, not more than that. And we also need to know a little bit about the metamorphosis in insects. Uh, yeah, insect development, that is Drosophila development. These five developmental concepts that you need to understand from the basics. So what you should do is that if you check the number of questions, if you check the type of questions asked are mostly from some portions only, not from the overall topics. Okay, Human embryo development is more complex. They are not asking any question from that. So don't worry about it. So what you need to know is that take that pen and paper, the notebook and you start Gilbert. What you need to read is that the basic chapters. So particularly, uh, they, they are not asking question uh, from all these developmental organisms from every topic. Okay? So they choose sea urchin for uh, the fertilization. They choose the vulva development and induction theory in sea elegance. They choose drosophila for the genetics of development purpose. They also choose uh, the gastrulation process in chicken, in frog and in fish and mammal as well and they also uh, take that uh, the process of genetics uh, with the drosophila development so and also the neurulation utilizing chicken embryo development so these are the topics you know so one particular topic is common to one type of organism so that's what you need to study so while you're studying the uh, fertilization process you should study the sea urchin fertilization only you don't, you don't need to study fertilization of frog human chicken and all these things while you're studying the cleavage pattern that you need to learn from the chicken embryo you need to learn from the frog embryo uh, and as well as the sea, uh, like chicken frog and mammals now if you're understanding the vulva development you only need to understand the vulva development in uh, sea elegance not any other organisms so this is what you need to do you don't need to read the whole book you know gilbert is a big fat book what you need to do this topics you know the topics that i'm sharing just find this topic from this book learn about it read it in details and while reading it in details try to take notes about that okay because these are all animal development and try to take notes on that note means it's not thorough writing you know just points important points which you can see and can check in future times okay when you see that in future times and read these topics and read the lines they'll be uh, like uh, revising this topic in your head that you can do with the help of uh, those notebook this is how you create your notebook and this is not only for this chapter remember this this notebook concept is very helpful for any chapter which is new to you okay now if you already know the developmental biology basics then there is no problem for you you can study from the the, the book that you used to study it from for the first time and one more thing that i must share is that do not read try to read developmental biology concept from different books okay developmental biology immunology these topics are something which you should always study from one particular book only you should not use multiple books uh, to study only few books one uh, particular book only which whatever book you can choose okay doesn't matter but one particular book only which helps them to understand because there are different uh, illustrations that are drawn there different types of pictures are there now whatever picture you find good 
for the first time whatever book we read that is actually printed in our brain so if you continuously read that book it's good so find the newest edition of the book latest edition of the book and start reading from that book and take that notes which will be very beneficial for you while applying and the other part about this unit 5 is the planned development they don't ask much question from plant development but few portions for example germination in plants and the the signaling of germination second thing is the plant double fertilization event which you can easily understand with the help of an animation animation can help you to understand that properly and also regarding the uh, abc model of flower development okay abc model of flower development understanding is also important and that is in arabidopsis thaliana plant so taking arabidopsis as a model organism so that you can also understand from any of this plant physiology book so only those portions and you know in plant physiology books there are plenty of topics written you need to only understand this two or three things which you can easily find out in google if you search that in google take some authentic source from the authentic source take down all the all the uh, information and, and make a note and again read from those topics what is more important here in plant development is the sequential events so you need to write those sequential events as a flow charts so that in future times you can just see the flow chart and every single information is just uh, visible in front of your brain okay that's how you should prepare unit 5 you should never leave unit 5 prepare unit 5 if you know the basics uh, then it will be very good particularly uh, as I told you earlier, in Drosophila genetics, name of the different genes and all. They ask two questions at least from Drosophila genetics and Drosophila development. So for all these organisms, the development is different and different topics are important to learn. Okay, so that's all about it. This is how you should study unit 5. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel so that you get to know about the next lecture on unit 6. Thank you. Bye.